Istanbul really is the gateway between the East and the West. It sits right on the Bosphorus, that narrow strait of water that connects the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara and the Aegean and eventually the Mediterranean. Besides the geography, you notice it in the faces of people. These beautiful exotic faces that seem to come from both the East and the West. The Blue Mosque, which really isn't that blue, by the way, attracts foreign tourists, but also manages to serve as a real mosque to the locals. Back on the street, you, you see people shopping, just like in any European city. Of course, it's a, a Muslim country, but it's, it's also known historically as a, a very secular country. So uh, although people may wear headscarves, not, not all the women wear headscarves, it's hard to find a regular Christian church. That's still a rarity here. In fact, at, at some of the tourist sites like um, the Hagia Sophia, you can see where the, the old Christian Orthodox icons have been stripped away and there are only bare remnants of those fantastic mosaics left to see. The Ayub Sultan Mosque in one of the middle-class neighborhoods was so packed that people were out on the street praying. Pretty moving ceremony, but when the prayer rugs were all rolled up and everything, you got on the street and everything seems to be back to normal. People are riding the tram and the ferries back home from work, and it's a Friday night, so people are going out to dinner where you can get a nice lavash or maybe a kebab by the meter. John Cass and I stopped into this place. It's like a coffee shop where they smoke those water pipes. They call, they call it the Nargeel. The guys were just great. Was very welcoming. Everybody's playing cards and hardly even looked up as we were shooting pictures and talking. Afterwards, we were on our way back and you could see around the city are these food carts. It really is a 24-hour city. I mean, the, the cabbies are stopping by the by the side of the street and letting people out. We found found one place run by eight Kurdish brothers, and they're there almost 24/7, selling this rice pilaf with chicken and lamb out of the back of this cart. The people of Istanbul are very hospitable and welcoming in that Muslim way. Somewhat traditional, but they still know how to have a good time. <laughs>